vaccine and they didn't want to yeah. it be impossible uh, COVID-19 so it's really important in this period of time where COVID-19 is at its peak and we don't want it to spread it more so please take all the precautions the government has issued for you guys and i hope you all are well and be motivated be energetic and watch all my videos because i am uploading lots of videos these days and vlogs and some of the apps and the cooking thing i'm doing i have cooked so much of food i think i'm in the export right now but no it's not really true but yeah i'm kind of in the cooking area which is really you can say a new world for me but yeah so i hope and all the new videos the video link is somewhere so please click it on it and do watch this video first Okay, so let's start the reaction. Hey guys, if you're going to like my reaction, please click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you want me to react to any other video, please link it down in the comment section. And let's get on with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three, two, one. Okay, it's not started. Okay, one, two, three. Imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis. You have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. And then, the worst thing that could ever happen, happens. The Hi. coronavirus hits Malaysia. Ooh. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. Wow, that's a really good thing. ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Amaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Number 14, top Nashua. doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did yes. so many different things like food delivery. I think this is the, one of the most important points out there. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. I know about this stuff. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Number 10, the Tuvle Cluster. The Tuvle Cluster complied with any order from MOH, and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. This is what happened in India. Universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food wow, as well. That was Number 7, nice. stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 wow. ringgit. Number 6, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for this the good is what of Malaysia. Be. Now that is really cool. Number 5, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They, they were put job. in public halls and provided a tent. Number 4, wow. Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided wow. a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two-week quarantine. Nice. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, wow. a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative Amazing. to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE. College students made PPE. Even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. 
And number one, most important, is teamwork. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible, to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia, to now be one of the safest countries in the entire world. I'd like to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible. How the countries are handling their situations and the like COVID-19 is spreading so much at such a fast rate even though the red death rate is is very short I think it's very less but then also it's it's like Malaysia did I hope many countries would do that India is doing their best uh, in what they can do government are helping a lot to the people but yeah there are some people who don't like know the language uh, like you know so I don't know. It's uh, it's really nice to see how Malaysia handled the whole situation, and I hope so so many countries will do the same. It's not important in the future. The politics, the economy would not help you. It's the teamwork. It's the people whose lives are more important than the so-called economy so, and politics. I mean, the politics are ruining our lives, uh, common people lives especially. The rich people are like okay only the middle class and the poor people are, are struggling from this so it's really a good point how many points we can take up from this video and how the government i think most of the countries should see this video it's really important video i hope it go viral i hope so because there are so many points people need to realize to be work on especially in many countries i mean uh, you know what i'm pointing to so yeah so I just loved the how the Malaysian handled the whole situation and the last point like really touched me like all the prisoners and all the people know the importance of the human life so it's really nice to see the humanity uh, like bringing it's like humanity forward <laughs> and so yeah it's really nice to see that uh, from a different perspective as an Indian I really uh, you know appreciate the Malaysia effort in a uh, whole situation of COVID-19 because at least one country would be safe so yeah I hope many more countries would be safe in the future and I'll get proudly say yeah COVID-19 has been stopped so I hope that come true so hey guys if you like my reaction please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and if you want me to react to any other video please link down in the comment section and I love you guys please stay safe and please smile more and good night good morning whatever you guys are going through